welcome to my YouTube channel, Little Ways, Little Things. Today I'm going to be giving you my list of the 25 essential crafting supplies that you must have to do Dollar Tree DIYs, at least my opinion of those 25. Now, 20 of them come from Dollar Tree, and if you're like me, you love to watch Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree DIYs on YouTube, and you get excited about a project, and you run up to Dollar Tree, and they just don't have every single thing that you need. They might be out of Mod Podge or something like that. So, what you're going to have to do is get pretty creative with buying things when you see them. And that's why I'm giving you this list. So I'm gonna tell you about these products and actually the first five products are usually always in stock, but the other ones are not. So you might wanna get a box and keep these things in the box when you see them so that when you wanna do a project, you'll have them on hand. Like I said, the first five things are things that Dollar Tree keeps pretty pretty regularly in stock. And the first one of those is foam core board. That's used a lot in projects for lots of different things. And I have never been to one of the Dollar Trees by me where they haven't had foam core board. So that's not something that I feel like I need to um, hoard or like stock up on, although I do usually keep one piece around for crafting emergencies. But other than that, I don't feel like stocking, I need to stock up on it or anything like that. Poster board is the number two thing. Usually the Dollar Trees all have that, at least white poster board. So I feel pretty confident that if I need a poster board, I can run up to Dollar Tree and get one. Um, the next thing is some type of a sanding item. Um, this is a sanding block. Um, if they don't have these, they have pieces of sandpaper, so I don't like need to stock up on that or keep a lot of packages of that around because if I run out, I know I can run up and get another one. And um, the next thing is called lightweight, lightweight spackling, and it's this. They always have it there, and it basically just looks like Kind of I don't know it's kind of gooey it kind of smells but what it's really good for is patching up pieces of wood if you're redoing a Dollar Tree sign into something different and you need to patch a hole in the wood or um, something like that this is what's really good for it the last item that you can always find at Dollar Tree if you need to are these chip clips or they're called multi-purpose clips and I use them to hold things together when I'm gluing things like wood. So if it needs to use wood glue or something and it needs to stay together until it, you know, hardens, this is what I use. Okay, next. The 20 things that you're gonna have to keep around, just get yourself a Rubbermaid tub and kind of keep things around, keep them around, buy them when you see them because they're not gonna be there, I guarantee, when you need to do a project or you want to do a project. You might get lucky and they might be there, but chances are they won't. So my top 25 crafting supplies are, number one, foam pumpkins. This obnoxious orange foam pumpkin, you saw me do a few things this fall with it. If not, I will link that video at the end of this one. But it never fails that I want to start doing a fall project before they put them out. And so I usually buy one or two and keep them in a Rubbermaid tub. That way, if I need to do something with it or I want to practice a fall project or something in July, I already have one. So love those foam pumpkins those are awesome number one uh two is moss and i um i it gets everywhere so i put mine in a ziploc bag but this is reindeer moss and i actually have two packages in here um dollar tree sells a couple different kinds of moss they have this reindeer moss which is my favorite and then they have a lot of the fakey green colored moss um i keep this on hand the other one not so much but if they have this, I usually make sure I always have a bag or two inside of a Ziploc bag at home because it never fails. If I want to use one or want to want to use it for a project, they, they're out of it or they don't have it. So if I have it at home, I don't need to worry about it. The next thing is a wreath form. Um, I keep one of these on hand because, again, you never know in the middle of the night when you're watching a YouTube video when you may have to make a wreath. So, but 
not all the Dollar Trees keep them all the time. So um, I make sure that I always have a spare one in my tote just in case. The next thing is at Christmas time, and that is these um, fakey looking little Christmas trees. And um, I don't use these for trees. I use them for other types of projects. Um, for example, I'm going to be making a door swag out of this one in um, an upcoming video, so watch out for that. But um, Dollar Tree, they don't always order this right at the beginning of the season. So right when you're trying to make things, right, right like right after um, Halloween, they don't always have these out yet. So I usually keep one or two at the end of the year in my tote so that I always am ready to do Christmas projects. Um, another thing is these green um, ties. Also keep these around. They're so good for filling up those Christmas trees and they're also good for all kinds of things all year long. And I just always make sure I keep one because one year, none of the Dollar Trees around me got them until like right before Christmas. Well, that was a big chaotic mess for me because I had lots of projects planned with those. So those are important. All right, so the next thing you're gonna think this is weird, but these glass candle holders, I know that you've seen people do all kinds of things with these on YouTube. And believe it or not, they can be painted. And if you watched my um, video back in the summer where I made a three-tiered tray, I made them out of these. The problem is sometimes if you see a really fun video and it uses one of these, sometimes the Dollar Trees are out of them. And lately they've been really good about stocking them, but there was like a three or four month period one time where I looked and looked at every Dollar Tree and couldn't find them. You can add these to almost anything with E6000 glue and make it look so high end. So if you just take this little glass candle holder and you add this glass candle holder, I mean, you can see where already you have a really lovely piece and you just glue them together. So there's thousands of things you can do with this and I just make sure that I always have one or two of those on hand. Okay, the next thing. This is burlap ribbon and this particular one has this lace going down the center and I like to use this in the spring and summer, but for winter and fall, I like to use the one that doesn't have the lace. So another thing that they go in and out of really fast is Mod Podge. So I'm showing you these two Mod Podges because these are the ones that you find um, pretty often at the Dollar Trees. One is matte and one is gloss. The problem with Mod Podge is if you're a, if you're a here and there crafter, it's great. But it is cheaper at Walmart or um, other places. So I wouldn't buy it from Dollar Tree if you're a really, really big crafter, like you're gonna do a lot of projects. Go ahead and pick up a much bigger bottle of it from Walmart or Hobby Lobby with the coupon because then you'll actually turn out cheaper in the long run. So next thing is Baker's Twine. If you see this, they're carrying it a lot more steadily now, but this is so good for lots of projects. You see people use it all the time. I myself use it constantly. I'm always running out. So they have it in lots of different colors. So I kind of like to keep stocked up on Baker's Twine. And also there's Jute Twine. This Jute Twine, you actually find this like in the hardware section, but um, it's really awesome for doing all kinds of things with. And I think I've, I've used it on a video just this past fall where I wrapped it around um, a sign. So even though you don't find it in the craft area, it's, it's a really cool product to keep on hand. Another thing that I don't always find are these larger, thick, thicker kind of paint sticks that a lot of times you can find the thin popsicle sticks, but these long like tongue depressor wide strips, if you see them, I would grab them and keep them um, because you won't always find those and people use those for a lot of different things on YouTube. So um, the next thing are these foam brushes. Um, sometimes you can find packs of them and they'll have all different sizes and sometimes you can go through the whole store and not find any. So I like to keep two packs around just so that I always have them handy. All right, the next thing is these makeup sponges right here. Um, 
because they work really well for painting in small areas and they're really good because they're cheap and you can throw them away. Um, this is going to seem kind of weird, but these microfiber cloths, you can, I even have seen people sew these together to make pillows. It's, um, it's just a white, fluffy, soft cloth. And I like to keep one or two because, um, you'll never know when you'll see a project on, um, YouTube where they'll use these. Like I saw a girl make a wreath. It was a real wintry white wreath out of these the other day and I thought it was gorgeous. But of course, when you go, they won't have them. So I like to keep one or two of those. Actually, I've been keeping three on hand. But the, um, the last thing, well, the second to the last thing I should say is this craft utility knife. And that's because if you wanna cut some of those signs or take out some of the staples, this works really good. The reason I have it on this list is because once you buy it, you don't have to stock up on them, but I would buy it when I see it because when you do want it, it won't be there. All right, here's my number one. Let me just make sure I got everything. Yeah, that was 19, that was 19 products, but um, I have to tell you my very favorite thing to stock up on and I never pass them up are these fairy lights. You've heard me talk about them on my channel before and they come in silver, gold, and copper and I absolutely love them. They take batteries, they last forever and I put them everywhere for every holiday and every season. And there is, these things do not stay in stock, at least in my Dollar Tree. So when I find them, I buy them. I have a little shoebox in my craft closet that says fairy lights and there's always at least five or six of these, plus a few floating around in various projects. But I love these. I can't tell you enough that you should buy these and keep them on hand because you will see a project you want to do and they won't be there. So, all right. So I wanted to tell you about five things that, um, oh, actually, I think there was one thing I left off and that's Sharpies. You know, you have to have Sharpies for craft projects and sometimes they don't have them at Dollar Tree. They'll have the cheapy kinds, but always make sure you stay stocked up on Sharpies from Dollar Tree, or you can get the bigger sets from Walmart that might be cheaper, but that's a definite um, essential. So I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five more things to talk about that do not come from Dollar Tree. So far, everything I've told you about has come from Dollar Tree, but there are five products that are must-haves for doing these Dollar Tree DIYs, and they're either not like it's not price effective to get them at Dollar Tree or they just don't carry them. So the number one thing is the glue that I use for almost everything is either E6000 or a glue gun. So I always make sure that I have E6000 on hand. You can get that from Walmart, Home Depot, just about anywhere. But it works the best for adhering heavy duty stuff like if I'm making a three-tiered tray or gluing the candlestick to the, um, we talked about the candlestick to the candle. If I'm gonna do something like that, I'm always gonna use E6000. And then of course, a glue gun for everything else from paper to lightweight wood. It's just definitely a must have. All right, so of course, a good pair of scissors. Scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby is very inexpensive. It comes in all different seasonal and just regular colors, um, patterns. It's gorgeous. I love to keep, well, let's just say I keep a lot around, but I would keep at least a pad of paper around if I were you. And um, something like the wood or the uh, shiplap looking scrapbook paper that you can use for lots of different projects. Like I said, I keep it around by the bookshelf full. And the last thing, my must have, most essential product for doing DIYs from Dollar Tree is Waverly Chalk Paint. 
This one is plaster. You can see how well used it is. This one happens to be white. I'm also very fond of the pink one. I think it's called ballerina slipper. And then there's a gray one that is just, I love it. And there's also one green one. So those are the colors I use the most often. And once again, it's Waverly chalk paint. And um, it's an acrylic chalk paint. It comes from Walmart. And it is in the hobby section of Walmart, not in the paint section. It's in the hobby section and I use it to paint everything. Comment down below if you think that, that I've left off something or if there is a must have craft essential from Dollar Tree that you think should be on this list. Please let me know so I can pick it up and put it in my shoebox of magical craft supplies. In the meantime, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try um, collecting Dollar Tree kind of craft supplies here and there so that you're not panicking the next time you find something that you really, really want to do. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please check out the other videos, hit the subscribe button and also the bell so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video and give this video a big thumbs up.